Hey YouTube, this is Eddie's Tech Talk, and this is my full review of the Eufy Security Doorbell. The reason that I chose Eufy over Ring, this is not a comparison video or anything like that, but really the reason that I went for that is because I don't like what Ring is doing with their security, both of their user accounts, they had an account breach, and just of the data that they're collecting in general. I really did not like that at all. Whereas something like Eufy, the real, their real way of making money, the, the value for them is in the product. So something more traditional, right? You buy the product. They're going to want you to buy more products. It's in the app. You can buy more Eufy products, but they're not siphoning all your data off. They're not monetizing all that data. And especially something like my home, who's coming in and out of my home, who's, you know, what packages are being dropped off, all those kinds of things. I really didn't want something like a ring doorbell or you know or a competitor who monetizes that data to be around be with my data to me that's mine and as best I can tell Eufy was a good way to go as far as a privacy standpoint I'll link in the description below there's also a really helpful article from Mozilla who makes Firefox uh, they kinda have this newsletter blog privacy not included and they have a little write up on the Eufy uh, doorbell and ecosystem as well so I'll include that but if you're looking for privacy if you're looking for security Nothing's going to beat your old dumb doorbell with no internet access, none of that. But if you want the video doorbell, if you want that solution, and you don't want to roll your own setup and store the hard drives for collecting the data and all that yourself, I think that Eufy is a good option, purely from a privacy standpoint. Now, does the product work? Was it easy to install? Do I like it? That's another matter entirely. Let's get into it. So I'll briefly touch on installation. I'm a total home noob. I imagine other people could do it much better, much faster than me. But look, even for me, total home noob, I, I was installing the doorbell on the day I closed on a house. So it wasn't like I was deep into the home improvement game with a lot of years of home ownership behind me. But installation was pretty easy uh, as far as I remember. So there was a, a wire I had to connect in my existing doorbell uh, apparatus. Uh, so I had to cut the power for that, so just went to the circuit breaker, flipped that off, put the wire in, everything was good. And then I had to uh, do the same thing, take off my existing doorbell, put the new doorbell on. And I'll show a picture, a brief video here, you guys can take a look yourself. I had a minor issue with installation of the doorbell just because of the uh, way my siding is on my house. So it's only held in by one top screw, which you can see if you look in the way back of uh, that that picture in the, in just the corner the bottom is actually not held in by, by a screw but look the, the doorbell stays I just had a couple quirks in my particular instance uh, but it stays just fine the doorbell works great the voltage supplied is good so I would say that the, the installation process is pretty easy uh, pretty carefree they have very clear instructions uh, with the doorbell when you buy that kit and that's really nice I like that of course, uh, and then of course the synchronization to the app was not difficult at all either. You just have to kind of plug in this adapter right by an outlet near your doorbell, which I had, and uh, just sync it with the app. Very basic, very, I would say, normal procedure for setting up any real smart or electronic device. So installing the doorbell was not that difficult and syncing to the app getting the account set up was also not that difficult so privacy we have a passing score here as well as installation not too difficult so let's get into kind of what the doorbell is what it offers and the app and all that stuff so the application is run through the eufy security app which if you have other eufy security products like their security cameras or anything else that they sell it all syncs up through that app so i'll just kind of go through the app bit by bit here I only have the doorbell so that's the device I have if I hit this play button up here it'll stream my live doorbell so while you're looking at your live doorbell feed or if someone rings the doorbell you have options so you can uh, press this button here you can start a recording of the doorbell itself of the live feed you can capture that you can also uh, cut I'm, I'm doing this video right now so it can't save it at the same time but this is what I'm doing here. So you can do the video, you can cut a, a, a still photo, you can also talk through the doorbell. So I can talk through the doorbell. Uh, I can actually hear it from where I'm sitting right now also. I can hear it outside. So that speaker is especially, especially loud because I can hear it from the interior of my house. 
And the audio quality admittedly is not exceptional, but I mean, it's audible to your visitor. I was actually not at home. Someone got my Amazon package by mistake, a neighbor of mine, and I was able to talk to him through the doorbell and to say, hey, you know, just drop it on the porch sort of thing. Uh, and he was able to do that just fine, understood me uh, decently fine. Not the greatest audio quality in the world, but look, it's a doorbell. You're not doing a podcast off of it. I would say that it works fine, especially for a doorbell. All purposes, you got to go in there. So you can do that as well with that. Uh, you can also have like a pre-canned voice response. So I just heard a please leave it at the door, uh, and that came through. It's just a higher quality recorded pre-selected audio thing, uh, if that's your thing as well. And then you can also go to silent mode or or loud mode there. So that's the live look that I have through my doorbell. And I'd say that look, just live response through the doorbell, very good. Uh, no complaints there. You can also uh, go into the snooze function. So you can snooze uh, motion to not get alerted by motion. Uh, one of the positives to me of this product is that there's no facial recognition software. There, no one's no one's doing any of that here. So if you walk up to the doorbell, it's going to flag you as, hey, there's someone at your door, the same as it would a stranger, a burglar, whatever it is, uh, because it doesn't know that you're you. Uh, and so to me, that's a great positive from a privacy standpoint, especially. So let's say you want to snooze the motion. Let's say you're going to be coming in and out of the house for the next half hour doing some yard work or something like that. You can do that very easily. Uh, you can also snooze the chime. I'm not sure why you'd really want to do that one, but it's in there. And then you can set the duration. So that's uh, a nice feature there. Uh, here we can see uh, various uh, items from the day that you may have checked or not checked at this point in the application. So we can look at the doorbell. We had a missed ring earlier uh, when I was shooting footage outside. Uh, I rang the doorbell, it puts a chime through the house, it gives a notification to your phone, uh, and so it's like, hey, you didn't actually answer the door earlier, whereas you can acknowledge the notification on the app and do all that fun stuff and acknowledge the ring and those kinds of things. So it's kind of a catalog of what you missed, what happened throughout the day. Here, There's another video here. Uh, when I walked up, I w went for a walk on my lunch break, and we can see that the doorbell motion tagged itself. So that's how your sort of day-to-day -day management of the doorbell goes and some of the features there. Uh, features that I uh, would say that I very much like. Now there are a lot of settings that you can configure with the doorbell which is good because I needed to do this uh, when I got the doorbell. So we can see uh, here that I had the doorbell itself wired doorbell that's that's what I have here. So the camera is on of course the LED uh, is on at night, so that's just the ring around the bottom of the doorbell. The doorbell button lights up, so if someone's ringing the doorbell at night, you can um, very easily, you know, see that. Auto night vision also turns on. Uh, I'll try and grab a clip of the night vision for you guys, but you can see really clearly who is coming in at night. I, I was I was impressed with that feature. Uh, motion detection. This is something that I had to actually alter myself, just because sometimes when a car drove by or whatever it was, an animal ran by, like a dog or something, uh, sometimes it would trigger when there really wasn't motion to be triggered. Or let's say, uh, you know, someone was going on a walk on the sidewalk at the end of, the, you know, my, my uh, sidewalk to lead up to the house. They weren't coming up to my house. Sometimes that would trigger. So I had to adjust the sensitivity myself. Um, and I'd say that it works very well. It can scan for anything from all motion or human only. You can draw an activity zone, um, which is good as well. So uh, I, you can edit an activity zone for somewhere that you really want to exclude. So when it was really windy out, my plants were blowing around and triggering the doorbell. So I kind of blacklisted uh, that zone so it wouldn't alert me if there was something happening in that small zone. So you have very fine-tuned controls with the Eufy doorbell is really what I'm trying to say here. Um, motion detection, again, we went through that, that was good. Video quality itself, you can have HDR enabled. It says don't enable if it's bright and clear enough, and for me it has been. You're welcome to enable it yourself. Distortion correction, uh, if your door wall's curved, you can kind of eliminate that fisheye effect. I haven't needed to do that. 
streaming quality, you can select low, auto, low, medium, or high. Recording quality, you've got 2K HD is the highest uh, available. That's what I have. You can have storage saver as well. We'll kind of get into the storage options uh, because there is no monthly subscription with the Eufy doorbell, another positive for me. So you can also record while live viewing after opening the notification, uh, which I like as well, and then you know more video quality options. So that's all very good as well. Sounds, we have the chime alert. So this chime actually comes through my uh, traditional doorbell chime after I hook that up. And then it also has a chime uh, as a part of the little base station I had to plug in. So we can see that here. Uh, you can We can adjust the various ringtones. Notifications, It's this is just your notification settings. When do you want a notification? And I uh, want these notifications, which are very, very good, by the way. They're informative. They take you right where you need to go. It's, it's fast. It's quick. Storage, this is a big thing here. So you get four gigabytes of storage. That's secure local storage. So uh, basically, they give you four gigs, and then they start overwriting your old stuff. But again, they're not beaming it to the cloud. They're not monetizing that data. So that is something that I really like. And you get that four gigs for free. No need to pay for a subscription. The indoor chime, uh, you can sync that up, do some stuff there. Quick response, uh, these are just various prompts that you can have quickly respond to things at the door. Uh, you can diagnose problems with your device, change uh, other things, you can update the uh, firmware, the software of the device, which in my experience has always happened in the background. I've never been on an out-of-date doorbell software. So uh, that's kind of what we have for the Eufy Security Doorbell. I very much like the Eufy Security Doorbell, again, which is something that I purchased with my own money, uh, you know, not sponsored here, but Eufy, uh, they do have some nice stuff for us, uh, the Eddie's Tech Talk community. So if you buy this Video Doorbell 2K, the wired version, which is the one I have, I believe there's also a wireless version, but I did not purchase that one. Um, <clears throat> you, if you get the doorbell, you will get a free doorbell chime when you use my link to buy the product. So if you're interested in the Eufy doorbell, which again, look, I love the doorbell. This is just me talking here. Um, if you buy the doorbell, you'll get a free doorbell chime, which is a 30 dollar value when you use my link to buy the product so look it helps me out helps you out it's not like they're paying me loads of kickbacks here um if, if for every two people that buy this just full transparency um i will get a free doorbell which i guess that's cool but i already have a doorbell i don't need it but look just trying to save you guys a little bit of money if you need it what do you guys think of this video with the eufy security doorbell i like it i like it a lot um that's kind of all I have to say here. So this has been a review of Eddie's Tech Talk. If you liked it, let me know in the comments section down below. What do you think of the privacy, of the security, of all the smart home stuff? You know, hey, I just like talking about it. So let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.